This is the plaintiff, Paul Paldino. He says the defendant, his former fiance, owes him for the engagement ring he bought her. And now that they've split up, she refuses to give it back. The scaredy cat defendant broke it off with him over the phone. He thinks she pawned the ring for cash. And he's here in the name of justice suing for the $2,775 the ring cost him. This is the defendant, Christina Medina. She says she left the ring at the plaintiff's parents' house when she went to pick up her belongings after they split. The plaintiff's just angry and jealous she's dating someone else. This lawsuit's a lame attempt by him to stay in her life, and she owes him nothing but a final goodbye. She's accused of breaking a guy's heart. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $174.94, the value of a chinchilla. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant broke up with him over the phone and she's keeping the engagement ring. But the defendant says she left the ring with the plaintiff's parents. He's just jealous about her new boyfriend. It's the case of, at the sound of the beep, you're single. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Paul Paldino? Yes. You are suing your former fiance, Christina Medina? Yes. For $2,775 for the engagement ring that she refuses to return, you have a counterclaim against them for a chinchilla. <laughs> okay. Uh, talk to me. What happened here? Um, we dated for about four and a half years. Um, how, how, how old are you, sweetie? Um, 26. How, oh my gosh, you look so much younger. How about you? 22. So you got engaged. Yeah. yeah, in July of uh, 2014. Okay, and what happened? Um, in November of 2015, Christina decided to break off the engagement. That's a long engagement, and why? Um, I never actually got a reason. She broke up over the phone. She, she, she just not. said she that she wasn't. The phone? You broke up over the phone with and somebody who you were with for four and a half years? No, no, no. And we, in person. And in person. I wanted him to know what I was coming over to talk about. I let him know because he's... Uh, okay, so then you came over and then you talked to him or no? Yeah, I did. And then what did you, why did you guys break up? Um, basically because he, uh, in, he got an opportunity to go to California and audition for a band. And he got in. And ever since then, he had been traveling back and forth. Uh, I went days without talking to him, weeks, and that turned into months when he went on a two-month tour. And then when he came back, he was just colder and it was, it, he was different. And uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, and so I decided to leave. Okay. And that kind of broke his heart, right? Because he, he did want you to stick around. So, no, yeah. Um, did she come over and then talk to you about it in person? She did not. On November 16th, I believe, I have a timeline of events that I broke down. And she, um, she left to run some errands. And I didn't see her again until November 23rd after she had made the phone call breaking up with me um, so that she could come pick up some glasses because she was going to Florida the next day. And she, the date that she walked out to run those errands, we had ran into her ex-boyfriend. And that was the date that I didn't see her again. And then the day that I saw her where she came to pick up her glasses. Was she back with her ex-boyfriend? Yes. The day that she came to pick up her glasses, the next day she went to Florida with him. So the 10 days or so that I was Did not you go hearing to Florida from her. Did somebody after breaking up like that minute with your fiance? No, it wasn't like that at all, no. actually. Okay, so um, you didn't ask for the ring back right away. Not right away, no. Because you kind of thought, well, maybe this will patch itself up. Correct. Right. And when did you ask for the ring back? The first written record I have of that is uh, January 5th. Do you remember when, though, in your head, when you asked for the ring back? Or is it pretty Before much Before that, I, I can't, I don't have a specific date, but it was probably sometime in December. And what did she say when you asked her that? She ignored it um, for days after that. Okay. Until she Told finally what? called to okay. pick up more stuff and she seemed like she wanted to reconcile things again. All right, let me ask you this. When, so he asked you in January to give him the ring back. You're not getting married and you don't give him the ring back, why? Um, I didn't have the ring. I left it at his house. And I really, have, where'd you leave it? I left it on a plastic uh, filing cabinet in his room that he just uses left as a dresser. Just a, a several thousand dollar ring without handing it back to him? Just, just I kinda. went and he was extremely emotional. We were both emotional. I, I, we were crying and- Yeah, I know, so you're seeing each other. So yeah. that's when you hand the ring back, when it, it goes well, from your Well, he was actually helping me pack all of my things up. And yeah. I- And of course your testimony is she did no such thing. 
Correct, because the ring box was actually in my room out in the open on that plastic filing cabinet. Um, and her cousin had also come with her that day to help her collect those things. For a short period of time, they were in my room alone together and the ring box was gone after that. Oh, the ring box was gone itself. Oh. Yes. Oh, did you take the ring box? No, I did not. Okay, so according to you, you left the ring in the ring box, but didn't tell anybody. No. Um, I literally, I have text messages from him and it wasn't January, it was February when he tried to get in contact with me about getting the ring. And what'd you do, ignore him? In the beginning, I ignored him because I didn't have the ring. Why don't you just answer? I don't have the ring. What are you talking about? I, I left it with you. This is a several thousand dollar item. You know I left it with you. Why, why don't you say that? Well, Put your I hand did. down. <laughs> answer me. So when does the woman get to keep the engagement ring? What do you say? Um, if he cheated on me, I would want to keep it. <laughs> You'd want to keep it. Do you think you have a right to? Yeah. When does the woman um, have to get to keep the ring even if you give it to her, but the marriage doesn't happen? Well, the man gave it to her, so I think it's hers no matter what. No matter what? Maybe. Depends. But the marriage didn't happen. Uh, I understand that, but he gave it to her, so... He gave it to her based on them getting married and they didn't get married. Yeah, that's a good point. See, I'm a lawyer going inside the courtroom. Why would you ignore him instead of answering him? I mean, don't you owe that much to somebody you dated four and a half years? Well, because after I spoke to him on the phone, he was, he just, it sounded like he wanted to get back together. Um, I even have a, a phone conversation that we had together and he said, I still love you. And it's not about the money. It's about maintaining my dignity. Yeah. And um, I, it, I don't want your money. And I asked him why he's taking me to court. And he said? It's the principle of it. Yeah. Well, that's okay. why we're here. Well, so you're, but see, your testimony is a little bit unbelievable that okay. you would take a several thousand dollar item and instead of returning it to the person you need to return it to, you put it in a box and, hey, I don't know where it is. And according to you, she said to you, maybe it's in my attic. Yeah, there was a, an initial phone conversation where, again, she seemed like she wanted to reconcile things. Did you ever seem like you wanted to reconcile things? I wasn't trying to hurt his feelings because I know that he was hurt. Were you trying to reconcile things? I was not trying to reconcile things. Were you, have you been with that other boy? That other gentleman? Uh, not until we were broken up. Okay, but you be, I, I, I meant, are you still with him is what I meant. Yes, I am. Uh, okay, so go ahead. Well, I do have text messages from Christina during this time period saying that she misses me, that she was happy with me. So to me, that does seem like she wanted to reconcile things. And I do also have a text message on my phone from January 5th, which is much earlier than February that she's claiming that I asked for the ring. So okay. if you needed to see that. I'd I do, I wanna happy. see the text sure. messages between you folks in January and February. Well, are you a musician? Uh, yes, I am. What do you do? Uh, electric bass. Okay. You're counterclaiming for the chinchilla. Tell me about that. Um, well, I bought the chinchilla in September of uh, September 23rd in 2014. And the chinchilla had lived with me. And when I moved in with him, the chinchilla moved with me. And when I moved out, I didn't get my chinchilla back. And after speaking to Why him- Why not? On, after speaking to him on the phone, he said, um, if you can have your chinchilla back when you give me my ring back. No, no, but the ring didn't even come up until January. If you left in November, was it, or October, when was yeah. it? Yeah, no, no. Why well, wouldn't you take your chinchilla with you? The chinchilla is a, like a rat, right? Like a, yeah, but she's like got a, a huge cage. Okay, so why didn't you just take your chinchilla with you? You chose not to take it? No, no, she has, he has a huge cage. Everything for the chinchilla was there. No. I couldn't so you, fit all so that So you left car. the chinchilla with him. How is it that now, now you want the chinchilla? I mean, the chinchilla is not a gift in contemplation of marriage. The ring is. And by the way, you sound like you want to get back with him in January. Because if I get a text from you that says, yeah, I just forgot. How, how long have you been gone? I left the 20th. Wow, I told you. Yeah, I just forgot. It was like a lifetime. Well, I ha And then he tells you, well, I haven't stopped thinking about you. And you send him a heart. And then you say, I know. I've been trying to let go, but I don't think I can. So it's not in your head. Where's the chinchilla? It's um, in my room in our house. So you've been taking care of the chinchilla all this time? Yeah. My, when was the first time she ever mentioned get, taking back the chinchilla? March 9th, I believe. I have it in a recorded phone call. Oh, let's hear it. Yep. Oh, sure. What'd you do, pocket his phone? Well, I want to make sure we don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey. What's up? Hey, so um, I was going to ask you about um, Olive. Uh-huh. I want her. Okay, well, we can talk once I get the ring back. 
Okay, um, do I also have to make another thing where we both have to come back before again? I mean, I'm cool with I it. Can't, I can't hear you. Do you have to what? No, I said I got the, um, paper, so, like, I'm cool. But, um, I mean, I literally don't have your ring, so. Well, what did you do with it? Because you didn't leave it in the house. You took the ring box, so. Well, we'll settle that in court. But, um, now this is something different, and I'm asking because I don't want to have to go to court again. Well, you go to court over what? Over a chinchilla now. I mean, you could take me to court, but I highly doubt they would grant you custody with the way you treated her. All right, so I'm going to have to file something else. Great. Just right. counter two. Cool, whatever. Great, see ya. That's what we've come to. All right. On your counterclaim against him for a chinchilla that you made absolutely no effort to get, it's clear that that was a posturing on your part, and I'm going to deny... No, put your hand down. I'm rolling. Wow. I'm going to deny your counterclaim that chinchilla has been there since the day you broke up, and here's a phone call where you're saying, I want to talk to you about Olive. I want her. In March. No. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Done. And on the uh, ring, it is your obligation to return the ring, not to say, I left it on a counter, or I left it on a filing cabinet, or I left it on whatever. It is your Let's obligation. Because, look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't, I am. Don't, 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 don't like go oh, while I'm talking to you. I'm okay. looking at you. Yeah, right. Okay. It is your obligation to return the ring. And if you don't, if you don't say, here, which I suggest people do in front of witnesses, frankly, okay? If you don't do that, and you can't prove you returned the ring, which according to your own testimony, you didn't hand it to him. He's the guy you gotta hand it to. You can't, you think you could go to the bank and say, oh, but I left my mortgage payment there. You guys didn't get it? That's not how life works. I am ordering you to pay him, reimburse him the $2,775. That's my verdict. So the plaintiff gets the money for the ring back. Medina, yes. you're, you're Miss Medina. You, it looked like you wanted to say something to the judge there at the end. Your mother's just walked off. Yeah. What did you want to say to her? Well, I have a recording of Paul asking me if I really want my chinchilla back. And so he's willing to give me my chinchilla back. Also, I think that she uh, already read whatever the case was and already made her decision because of the no, way... she based it on the right. testimony and the evidence submitted. Okay, well, if you say so, have a good one. You lost it. Where, where is the ring, by the way? His home. All right, here comes Paul now. Paul, what do you have to say about this? Uh, nothing, just feeling good. Do you still have feelings for her? Uh, at this point, no, I'm I not was planning say, on about continuing. About this experience, has this kind of changed your feelings even a little bit more? Yeah, I would say quite a bit. I would think so, too. You feel okay? I feel great. Just happy to be rid of her. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Thank you. And that'll do it for this case. Uh, Harvey, interesting. What do you think? Okay, Doug, you know, most states, uh, you get the ring back, the guy gets the ring back if the marriage doesn't work out because it's called a gift in contemplation of marriage. In other words, there's a string attached. If you don't get married, the gift doesn't happen and you get the ring back.